How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Today we got a special guest, Adam from Top Shelf Targets right now. Uh, how's it going Adam? Welcome to the welcome to the video here. Oh, I'm doing well, Nick. Thanks for having me on. Looking forward to speaking with you today. So just uh, for, for the audience members who don't know, um, who are you and uh, how long have you been working for Top Shelf Targets for? Well, yeah, again, my name's Adam. I'm currently located in San Francisco. I've been working with Top Shelf Targets for five or six years now since the company started. Uh, the original idea was to take a piece of plastic and embed some magnets in the edge such that you can clip that to a goal post in any location. So you're not limited to the corners like traditional targets where you tie them around the post and, and knock them out. So yeah, this is pretty much what our product looks like now. It's a, a piece of plastic with magnets in the end. So. It's taken a long time to get the quality and stuff, but um, it's quickly becoming one of the best shooting targets on the market, so happy to uh, connect with you about it. That's terrific. So for those of you who don't know, uh, I am an ambassador for Top Shelf Targets now. I first saw them just scrolling through my social media feed, seeing guys like Pavel Barber and Zach Bell using them, and I, I needed to do my research. I thought these things were incredible. It was a great idea. Uh, I absolutely loved how you could just have the magnet in there and you could just pick it up and put it back on really. So uh, I needed to get on board and uh, got to apply to be an ambassador for uh, Top Shelf Targets and I'm, I'm so thankful that, uh, that they accepted me. Yes, we are super happy to have you on board and uh, just when we got your application and to see like all the amazing creative videos you've been creating, we're like, we have to accept this guy. We're excited to work with him. Okay, so for those who haven't seen the targets, are you able to show us some that you have on hand by any chance? Definitely, Nick. Here we go. I have an 8 inch. This is orange, 8 inches. So this is our bigger size. It's going to be a little bit easier to hit. We also have this same size in a purple. So this is limited edition purple, and you can see it's got the magnets in the edge here. Super durable. I mean, you could hit this thing with like a, a Mack truck and it wouldn't break. So we've put a lot of um, time and energy into the research and materials. So they're super durable. That's something we pride ourselves on. So we got the eight inch size and then this one's a little smaller. It's a six inch size. Got four magnets along the edge here. And this one comes only in green. And so the way it works is on our website, you'll pick up a pack of four. Um, so something like this and I believe that this is the exact set that we sent Nick uh, to test out where it has two green and two purple So Nick, how do you like these targets so far? Yeah, I'm absolutely loving the targets. I've been having such a blast with them I've had them for a couple weeks and you know I've I've taken them out uh, outside and just ripped some some street hockey balls and pucks and they've been holding up just fine you know, I remember as a kid just going down to the Canadian Tire and picking up the foam targets and you know, there's it's night and day between the two, to be completely honest. So I'm, I'm having a great time and I can't wait to use them more. But you know, uh, as a goalie, I don't ne necessarily need to be working on my shooting accuracy, but it's too fun not to. I absolutely love these things. So the other day I posted on Instagram, if I'm doing a video with Top Shelf Targets, if you have any questions about the targets, put them down below and we'll talk about them in this video. And one question that kept popping up was, why are they so expensive? And what would you say to those people? We get that all the time, Nick. It's completely understandable. Um, just as a point of reference, um, a set like this is gonna run about $58 uh, US. Uh, one like this is $60. So they're all between 55 and 60 US dollars for a set. And um, part of the reason for that is that we're trying to make a really high quality product using the best materials and I really do feel like when it comes to shooting targets, you do get what you pay for. Uh, if you want to get the cheap plastic ring with the foam inside, that's fine. You may only pay 10 or 20 bucks for it, but if it breaks after the second or third shot, then you're going to have to deal with that or buy a new one. So. Um, it's not cheap, but these are definitely an investment. You're going to have these for years and years. We stand by it with the warranty. So if you ever had a problem or a break or anything like that, um, I mean, we've sold over a hundred thousand targets and had very, very few problems. So this is more of an investment, but if you're serious about stepping up your hockey or lacrosse game, I would say it's totally worth it. 
Absolutely, I definitely believe you get what you pay for, and I would definitely pay for these targets over and over again, if I had to, but I don't need to, because they're super durable. Yeah, we sent Nick a, a set of targets for free, just because he's such an awesome guy, and he agreed to help us promote him with his audience, but even before that, he had purchased his own set and had them sent uh, from the US to him, and so, I mean, he even was willing to pay for them up front without even getting a free set, so I think that says something as well. Yeah, I mean, as a Canadian, I was able to find it on amazon.ca which was a huge bonus for me um, so it's awesome to see that you guys are selling your targets on amazon yeah we are selling our products on our own website and then also amazon.com and amazon.ca for canadian customers so that's definitely a good spot to look um, another thing i was going to say about the targets being expensive because they they are expensive um, comparatively to some of the other products on the market um, Something I'd recommend is that create an Amazon wish list, put the product on your wish list, and then when it comes time for your birthday or Christmas, you can share your wish list with your family and friends, and then all they have to do is click a button and uh, they can buy the targets for you that way. So that's a really easy and convenient way to tell the people that are likely to want to get you a gift that you want, what you want, and uh, that you could get your top shelf targets that way. Absolutely, so if you guys know of somebody hockey player or even a goalie that wants to work on their shooting, make sure that they add their top shelf targets to the wish list there. So Nick, I have to confess, even though I work for top shelf targets, I am not a hockey guy. Uh, the guy who started it, uh, both the guys who started it are hockey players. One of them is even a, a champion from the professionals, won the Stanley Cup. So, But me personally, I don't know much about hockey, so I'd love to hear your take about um, you know, who are these targets made for? Who is gonna benefit from purchasing them? And um, what size do you recommend based on who someone is and what their skill level is? I would definitely recommend the targets uh, to anybody that plays hockey, really. Uh, you know, as a Canadian, just growing up playing street hockey, sometimes you don't necessarily have the goalie. You know, you can put your targets on there and, and hit the target if you if you don't have the goalie in there, and then that counts as a point. Uh, people who are, or even even kids, anybody uh, who wants to develop their skills in hockey, um, I would definitely recommend uh, checking the top shelf targets out. Uh, for me personally, I like uh, I like the orange one because it's the biggest one, and because I'm not very accurate, <laughs> the green one is uh, is a little tricky, and I haven't been able to hit that one too much yet. But um, you know, if if your kids playing rep hockey or travel hockey, as uh, some places call it, um, I would definitely recommend you check out the the purple and the green targets for sure. So Nick, now that you've had the targets for a little while, how have you ended up using them? Are there any like fun games or drills that you like to do? Do you use them by yourself or with teammates? Tell me more about how you're using them. So as of right now with uh, the COVID restrictions, you aren't, you aren't really allowed to go see too many people. So it's, so it's just been myself and the targets mostly. Um, and since I can't get out on the ice, I'm really looking forward to getting out on the ice with these things. But since I can't right now, I've been going to uh, a local hockey box, the cross box and uh, just been shooting there and having a great time. Definitely, yeah, I think one of the fun things about the targets, especially during COVID times, is that if you're stuck at home, stuck in your backyard, stuck in your garage and it's snowing outside, all you need is, uh, well, if you have a, home, a goal at home, that's great, and you stick them on the post, but even if you don't, you can find anything that's metal there's a lot of videos on our Instagram of kids going to the park and they'll stick them on a tetherball pole or a basketball pole or a playground. And so really sky's the limit and you can do it by yourself. Uh, you can also do it in groups of friends and make games about who can hit them down first. So pretty versatile in that way, I'd say. Now included in that awesome package that you guys sent me, and thank you by the way, uh, you guys sent me some tethers and I gotta say that these things are absolutely game changers. Because before, when I owned the the orange targets, you know, they, they'd kind of fall, you'd have to go pick them up. But now I could just attach it onto the targets and once I hit it, I don't have to go and, you know, bend down <laughs> and pick them up again. I just have to reattach it. So uh, could you talk about the tethers a little bit uh, for the audience here? Yeah. Yeah. So the way it currently works is that you clip these on the goal frame and when you hit them, they get knocked down and usually they fall on the ground and you have to go and pick them up off the ground and put them back up so it's a bit of a workout it can be hard on your back depending on your age and then the other thing that's kind of a bummer is every time your target falls on the pavement or ice 
it can start to get beat up. So an accessory that we sell are these tethers. Uh, one pack of tethers comes in this bag. It's a set of four. Um, the tethers actually look like this. So it's a slightly stretchy paracord with two crimps and you hook one end around the target and then the other end you hook around the goal frame. So when you hit it, this thing is just gonna dangle there and then all you have to do is uh, clip it back on the goal and you're ready to go. So it keeps your targets fresh and clean and they don't get banged up by hitting the ground. And it also staves your back because you don't have to be bending down and picking these things up the ground, off the ground every time. So highly recommend. These usually run nine or ten dollars. You can get them on Amazon. You can also get them on our website. But if you buy them uh, with a set of targets, you can get them for only six dollars. So. I would recommend it. If, if you don't want to get them, you can always just use a, a piece of string or a shoelace. So you could just as easily do that at home and figure something out yourself. Well, this has been absolutely great. Thanks so much, Adam, for taking time out of your busy day to come talk to us here. And uh, you might have uh, convinced a couple people to get some targets here. Yeah, I mean, it's great to talk with you, Nick. You're a great guy. We love what you're doing with your channel. And um, if any of your followers are interested in purchasing the targets, we would love to have you try it out. Uh, the best way to check it out is to visit our website, which is topshelftargets.com. You can check us out on Instagram, that's at topshelftargets. And of course, you can always reach out to Nick and ask him any questions. But if you are looking to have some fun and improve your shot at the same time, we'd really love it if you would check it out and uh, possibly pick up a set and uh, give it a try. Again, thank you so much, Adam, for coming on today and talking to us. It was great having you, and I hope you guys learned something today, because I sure did. Now, if this video has convinced you to get top shelf targets, I do have a coupon code for you guys. Use the coupon code BIG5HOLE at checkout. Yeah, I know, it's a great code, eh? Use the coupon code BIG5HOLE to save yourself 10% on top shelf targets. Just to let you guys know, it is an affiliate link slash code, so if you guys choose to go that route, you are supporting me and I greatly appreciate that. And if you guys do choose to use that code slash link, make sure you DM me a picture of your targets. I wanna see which ones you get. So that boot does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. More content on the way. I know I say that all the time. I say it all the time, but I just always leave YouTube behind. Here's my little rant of the day. I don't know, I just wanna be pushing out YouTube content as much as I can, but just ha I've been lacking in that department. Been sitting on the bench with it, so. I uh, look forward to making some more content soon for you guys. I'm starting to vlog. It's scary. Oh yeah, and what do you guys think of the new studio? Like, the Maple Leaf is sick. I am so stoked on that. And, and Bobby Lou. Always gotta have Bobby Lou out there. Anyways guys, that's it. I guess I gotta, the camera's far away. I can't do that, the hat thing, hold on. I'm coming guys, I'm coming.